This is a short tutorial in creating a stick figure in Blender. I've started up Blender 2.6 and here's my default cube. First I'm going to change my viewpoint to front and I don't need perspective orthogonal makes drawing a little bit easier. Alright, tab to enter edit mode and I'm going to, I want to be able to select the vertices in the back that I cannot see so I'll click this I'm going to use A and B a lot, A to deselect and B to box select. Set of vertices, E to extrude, I'll go straight up. Do that one more time. Deselect, box select these vertices, E to extrude out, E to extrude out a second time. Let's see, I would also like a edge loop right there. That looks fine. And I also want to deselect box. I'm going to start to make some legs. E to extrude down. E to extrude down a second time. Should also set up a neck area right here. So I'll select E to extrude. That's going to create some more vertices, but I'll press escape. I'm not going to pull them out. S to scale. I'm going to move them in. Now I'll press E to extrude again, and now I'll bring them up. And this will be my neck later on. Alright. Press A. I'm going to move these around a little bit. This is the leg. I'll bend it out and away. Pull the whole thing over here. And this arm, I'll point that down a little bit. Pull that down. Okay, now I don't want to have to duplicate this by hand, so what I'll do is I will select on the left, X to delete. I just want to get rid of the faces, not the vertices. I need these vertices in the middle. But now to mirror this, I'm going to press Tab, over to my modifiers. I'm going to add two modifiers. First, a mirror modifier. So I've got this nice symmetric shape. And then, to smooth it out, I'm going to add a subdivision surface. I'll turn that up a little bit and give it smooth shading. Okay, it's looking pretty good so far. Do a little bit better by defining the joints more clearly. Change that view back to the front view. Tab back into edit mode. I'm going to use Control R to create some more edge loops. Click. Any place I see a joint. Move a couple of edge loops over there. Click. Click. I'll move one down here, not because there's going to be a joint, but kind of define the hands a little bit better. And same down here. Some around the knees. Some around the top of the legs. And one down by the feet to define that a little better. Again, looking not so bad. Alright, um, the arm should probably be a little bit smaller than the body in width. So what I'll do next, I'll switch to a top view. Oh no, this is fine. Switch to a box view. Or just a box, rather. Grab that. Now, I'll change my view to top. I'm going to scale, but just in the Y direction. S, then Y. And then I'll shrink up both arms. Looks a little better. I want to do the same for the legs. So first I'll select the leg vertices. And I'll change the view to the side again. And scale just in the Y direction. Bring that in. Yeah, it's looking better all the time. For a finishing touch, let's give our figure ahead. 
So view and from the front, tab out of this mode, shift A, we're going to add a UV sphere, um, move it up and over. And probably back. It looks right. I want to give that smooth shading so it looks like the rest of our figure. And there you go. That's our basic stick figure.